Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Rajendra and in today's video, we are diving into a very important topic in the world of fabrication and quality control, the QAP and ITP. If you have ever been involved in manufacturing, inspections or third party audits, you know how crucial these documents are. We will explore what QAP and ITP mean, how to create them, and I'll show you a sample template you can use for your own projects. Let's get started. What is QAP and ITP? QAP, Quality Assurance Plan. A QAP is a high level document that outlines how quality will be maintained and managed throughout the life cycle of a product or project. It includes policies, processes, procedures, and responsibilities. ITP, Inspection and Test Plan. And ITP is more detailed. It's a structured document that defines what inspections or tests will be done, at what stage, who will do them, and who will witness. It's basically the roadmap of quality control. You can think of QAP as the strategy and ITP as the execution plan. Importance of QAP and ITP. Why are these documents important? To ensure compliance with standards like ASME, ISO and client specifications. To reduce errors and reworks. To provide clarity to all stakeholders, means client, third party inspectors and production team. To form the base of audit trails and NCR resolution. Too essential for final documentation and project handover. Let's say you are fabricating a pressure vessel without an ITP. How will you track whether welds are inspected by RT or UT? Or whether PMI is required before or after welding? Hence, the ITP or QAP is very crucial document. Key elements in QAP. Project Overview applicable standards and codes, quality objectives, organization chart and responsibilities, control of documents and records, material control, welding and NDT procedures and inspection reports, inspection stages, calibration of instruments and machines, final documentation. The QAP is usually approved by the client and followed throughout the project life cycle. This table helps everyone understand what to check, how and when. Let's discuss some key points for preparing QAP and ITP. Always refer to client specifications and international codes like ASME, ASTM, API, etc. Coordinate with suppliers and third-party inspectors during document preparation. Get client approval before starting fabrication works. Use checklists to ensure completeness of the material. Include hold points and witness points clearly. One request is that kindly. Avoid copying generic templates blindly. Tailor them to your actual product and process. There you have it. A complete overview of QAP and ITP. Why they are important and how to structure them effectively. If you had like a downloadable template of the ITP and QAP, you can comment in the group then I will provide editable copy for you. Let me know in the comments if you want a video walkthrough of preparing a QAP for a pressure vessel, heat exchanger or any specific component. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more content on fabrication, quality control and pressure vessel manufacturing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.